Lucy Walker and today we're going to take a look at bezel setting. Stones with special effects such as moonstones. Rose cuts are one of the earliest faceting styles of gemstones. Looking at a stone though to judge how high we want to make that bezel, we aren't looking at the height of the stone itself. So we're going to be making this pendant from a combination of sterling silver and fine silver. The best thing about using this thin, fine silver bezel wire is that it's ridiculously easy to form to the right shape. But don't worry, we will cover all those tricky little buggers too. If it's just a fraction too small, don't worry too much about that. We have a trick for you on that later. Now, just for shits and giggles, let's see exactly how easy it is to melt a bezel. After all, once the bezel is soldered down, that's the only way you're going to be able to get it in there. It's a bit of a pain in the backside, but it is the only way. They will literally chew up your work and spit it out. Actually, that's a freaking lie. We've probably got about five to show you. So I do apologize, but this is gonna take a little while. To suspend my piece of silver in between. This is to make sure when we solder it to the bezel, that we've got a really strong connection. Let's take a look at soldering on the jump rings to the bezel without a border. But that's gonna take a long time. So we're gonna use the jeweler saw Well, we're just about ready to set our stone. Okay, now admittedly, I'm a little OCD about keeping my flats super flat. A chopstick, heck, I've even set one against my bench just to prove that I could. And there we go, just a quick clean with warm soapy water and a toothbrush, and our job is most definitely a good one. You want to know about textures, right? Good. So we're going to start out with the simplest of them all. Alrighty guys, thanks for joining us. Catch you later.